Okay, back to work. Got a new camera. Hopefully this one works as good as the last one. Same model. Uh, we're working on uh, Evo head compression releases. I got the polished ones to do here. That one and that one there. So that is a twin cam Jim's fixture, which I showed before doing this head down here. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. And I don't like how this is. And I don't like the other option I have either. I tried playing around with this a little bit for different locations by tilting it up a little bit and shimming it and playing, but it didn't really help any. The end result is it's basically in the same spot no matter what you do. The problem is is that it's very thin down in here. Right down here we can see the compression release in there. So it's thin there and thin down here. So this one here you cut through the top to make it seal. So you want to have to go down to the second layer down here. And then when you get down to here, right in here is a thin spot. There's a thread right here. And that actually sucks in a little bit right there in the one little area. So you have a little bit of a dip where it gets in real tight, which affects if I move it. So these here are early heads that I have to play with. So these are uh, 84, 85 heads. This is another set here to play with. I took a motor part to get the heads off of it. <clears throat> So they are different than the late heads, which have no spacers, and these ones have spacers that go in here. These have no spacers, so they're taller. So these are the 92 heads, and they got the breeders on them. Big half inch holes over there. <clears throat> so that means if I put this big hole right here in here, the head bolt is going to cover up the compression release a little bit which is going to make it really hard to put the compression release in. You've pretty much got to put it in first, and then you put your head bolt in. Because once you got the head bolt in here, about where it's going to sit, it, it basically just about rubs on the compression release. And there's no way to put your socket in here because it hits the bolt. So you'd have to grind a notch in your bolt to take the compression release out. You'd have to do that before you put the bolt in, or before, because, or before you put the crush release in, because you can't don't have access to grind it once that's in there, because it's in the way. So you'll make a decision: you've got to grind it beforehand, or you're screwed if this ever has to come out. And these do fail, so that's the problem. Plus, it doesn't look too good when you got a big hole going through your whole head. Remember this other one that sits up high. It's not recessed down like that. We already got stuff sitting down low. So that was the problem. The other problem is on the Evo, when you put the compression release in here, the thickness of this head right here is literally about a 32nd of an inch. So it might be as much as 50, but I'm thinking it's closer to 30 but either way there's a big hole underneath there the size of this tap <laughs> it's right below that surface which means that'll pop out and then that metal will go through the motor and blow out the exhaust probably won't hurt anything but it'll uh, it'll lower the compression because that uh, it holds probably about this much above what the compression release is out so that's a problem uh, the gym's instructions tell you that needs to be 200 to uh, 250,000 or something minimum thickness. And 30 to 50 is not anywhere near 200 to 250. So somewhere in here they talked about that. Here it is. Oop, that's not it. Yeah, somewhere in here. So this is made for a crank down, not an Evo. There's your hole. So that's where it comes to on an Eve on a twin cam. See on an Evo it's open chamber. 224 drill 5, 16th hole. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that at? 
Oh, here it is right here. So they want you to be 200, 250 wall thickness. So that would be a problem because we don't have that. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do to fix that problem. <clears throat> Not long. Basically, I don't have to drill as quite as far down as I did with kind of spot face it down. This is the tool here that we used to do it with. It's preset, so I can't. Well, I'm not supposed to change it. <laughs> Put it that way. Doesn't mean I can't change it. <clears throat> so there's your compression release. So right now I clean this up. But a nice even spot face made it nice and pretty so I cut it till right here to the very end where that would just clean over here there's a little bit of height right here so we didn't have to go quite as far as we did so right there I got about 30 thou I can gain but I just cut it minimum until I get my seat area in there that's all I need the seat area is basically this washer so once I got that diameter, I don't need anything else. So now I'd pull it up a little bit. So this thing is pretty thin down there. You can see how the hole goes way down. So that's the problem. The next problem is, is that if I try to move this over a little bit or change, move location of this a little bit, here's the old fin right here. How deep is this fin right here? So over in this head over here, Put it in here in the same spot. Goes in there that far, which is about what I get that little line right there cut in there. And that basically is pretty deep. So right up the edge. So that line goes almost to the edge of that hole right there. So that means that fin probably was about this deep in this cut in this far. Is where this edge was at, even though this one's pulled back, it went a little bit further. So it's the edge of the porch right here. So, <clears throat> I spent a few hours last night trying to figure this out. So, so basically, if you go straight, it's right there, but it, it goes in a little bit further. It doesn't go in straight, it goes in about to there. So, if you try not to, if you try to change your location a little bit. You run into that hole. So we gotta be careful about that. There's a little pinhole down there. See that right down there at the bottom? Yep, that's a piece of dirt. Okay, that's not another hole down there, it's a piece of dirt. Okay. So that's the problem you run into. Now if you go to the second fin down. <clears throat> Right there, you can see how close you are to the thread. Now, if your thread busts through into the fin over here, down into there, the compression will come up through the thread, blow out the side of the head, and eventually open a hole right through the side of the head. So you need to have it be 100% sealed thread and let the gasket seal the top surface. <clears throat> so you gotta be very careful about changing your location. So if I was to move this out a little bit, it would get into there and be junk. Now the port is right here underneath. So you have something called a port. See that's way up inside of here, way over here. And that is right there. Now my scribe mark is right here where the fin is. So what I was thinking about doing was putting the compression release right in here which would be right next to the spark plug over here so right in this area right here at a fairly straight up angle so that'd be a lot cleaner looking because it wouldn't be down in a big hole it would be sitting up on top of the head because remember this head here has all the stuff in it so let me get this out of the way there we go so if you put it right here, 
and just stopped it right there, right on that, this top surface, it would look a lot cleaner than if you had down set a big hole right here. Because this is high, this is high, and that's low. It would be a big hole going down in there. So I was trying to avoid doing that. The problem is it's not much material over here to work with. It's very, very, this is very precisely put because it's very critical where it's at. And this one here is critical also. We have the problem with the port on the back side and we have the problem with that hole coming through over here on this side, which is this one down in here. So we have that, like I said, we have that area where we can't be in the thread right there. And we also have the same problem with this fin right here, which is even more critical. It's the same problem. So that's basically right about in here is our limitation of where we can be. The problem is when you go into this deep, into there to clear that edge, you're right into the port over here. So you don't, you don't want to bust through that. The other problem is underneath the port, is something else. It's called a valve seat. <clears throat> so if you come in down right next to the edge of that port right there, it's too much angle. <clears throat> Bend down. If you don't bust through right up in this area, which is right here is about this height right here. So if you don't bust through right here, when you're going straight down, you want to make sure you don't go into the seat. You can remember the seat is a lot bigger than what the diameter of that valve head is right there. See, you're looking at this, the seat goes way into here, and then you gotta have metal to hold it in. So by the time you're this far over, you're getting close to where this is gonna poke through again. And I'm not sure how deep it's gonna be, but it's gonna be up in there. So the thickness in here is only so much to work with. You gotta remember, this is way recessed from what this is, so it's closer than you think. <laughs> Pretty close. So that's my other problem. How much am I going to hit the valve seat if I poke it through that hole? So that is my problem. The next problem is, is they cut the darn plug so deep, but it's preset by the cutter here. The compression release does not need to be threaded that far down. You can see how that's a lot more depth than this is. So you're almost a, you're three sixteenths to a quarter inch too deep. It's probably a quarter inch extra material in there almost that you don't need. But uh, the tap will thread within one thread of the bottom. It's a bottoming tap. So that helps you out too. So the compression release, when you put the wa washer down there where it belongs, figures, I want to go down there now, come on, stupid ass washer. All right, I need two hands. Uh, hey, the camera's falling over. All right, let me get it all the way down. Washer does not want to stay put. All right, so now you put this about where it's going to be on the edge right here. You line up your depth. You can see how this cutter is way more than we need it to be. So if I shorten the cutter up about that far, about three sixteenths of an inch almost. Then that will be that much more material I will have in there. So we'll have a lot more material. So if I can get 175 out there <clears throat> on the height to at least 150, figure 150. And if I can gain 30 over here, that's 175. I can gain, I already got 30. That puts me in my 200. Now they want a 225, I think, minimum. Yeah, I'll put that away. But anyway, that's close enough. I get 200,000, I'm happy. If I get an eighth of an inch, I'm happy, really. But So that's your problem. So Either way, this needs to be shortened up, because if you go too deep, you're going to hit the valve seat. If you go too little, you're going to have another issue. So that's kind of uh, where I'm at. Do I 
try to come in here sideways and hope I don't get the bow seat, which is really, really close in there. And I bet you the cutter is going to be cutting right into that area. You can see where the hole is right here. We know there's a hole underneath here, right where my finger is. Now, if we move the, this cutter in at all, it's going to be getting close to that seat, and it'll cut into the seat. It'll definitely cut away the press fit in the seat. I know that's going to happen. And also, you can see how much taller, how much deeper this is here than here. So you're losing that step depth from here to here, which is almost 200 pounds probably. Now, how are we going to gain more than 200 pounds when we come up the top? Realistically, we're only going to gain about maybe that much. So I think when you're all done, it's going to be almost the same depth when you're done. Except you probably will be either into the valve seat or right next to the valve seat, which is taking away some of the press fit. And if the valve seat falls out, then that's not going to help you either. So there's your problem. What do you do? So you can drill the head out and play with it some more and do that or not. Right now this head's usable. If I put another hole here, it will not be usable. If I take this set of heads and butcher them, I think once I put that in there, I'm going to be in the valve seat. The other problem is I think I'm going to cut the side of the port away pretty heavy here. Because what you don't see is how far this thing goes in. When you have this on the right on the edge of that line, you look where the hole's going to be. You look at where this cutter's going to be. It's going to be in there. Now this cut, this washer is smaller than our surface is there. And you can see how much of the thin is up on, up, up the port there, it's up into there. It's an eighth of an inch into that port. You know, it's more than that, it's three sixteenths into that port. That's probably about all that wall thickness you have to work with is. And like I said, this is smaller than this cutter. This cutter is a lot bigger than that washer. Now, the other option I can do, I can come in here with a, some different tools. I can come up with a spot with an end mill that's only the size of this, which is basically our washer size. See? And if I put the washer right on that edge, come in there and flatten this down, I'm up, I'm like my finger down will be cut. Do a minimum spot face. Keep the angle pretty much straight up and down so it doesn't go into the seat anymore than I have to. But see, the angle's still going that way. So I think you're going to get really close to that seat, if not into it. And if you're lucky, you don't bust through right under here. Because remember, it's really, really close in here for clearance. And that's where that fin gets cut away. That was cut away over here. Right here. So the end result is none of this is very good. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the compression release hole on the outside where there's less damage to be done to the head. The If I go into the seat area or bust in you know, right next to the seat and lose the press fit, the seat can come out, unknown, that'll happen down the road. If I go into the seat right now, I know it's junk and I destroy the head doing that. So I don't think that's going to be a very good option. If I put the hole right through here, It'll not look as good because it's going to have the, the deep countersink in there like that. But when you put the compression release in there, it kind of fills the hole back up a little bit. So it's not too awful bad. It's a little bit easier to get to here than if you had it way up over there. And the worst case, if something happens, the tool is keeping me from drilling the hole through here or busting through. So I'm all right with that. The only negative I got is if I... If this area busts out in here, I'm going to have a slight drop in compression. That's the only major thing that's different. This here is made to take uh, the heat and cylinder pressure, so if it, if it hits, it'll be fine. Shouldn't be a problem. I think somebody's fun outside. So, anyway, that's my decisions. So, I'll be back.